The Fallout series has been a big impact on my life, at least. That's what I believe in. It all started about around when I was around five, six, seven. Uh, before I even knew Destiny was a thing, um, my father had a game called Fallout 3. And it showed the beginning sequence of a light bulb flashing, flickering, and then playing the song by the Ink Spots, I Don't Want to Set the World on Fire. It is now one of my favorite old-time songs ever, and Fallout in the Fallout series is one of the reasons why I like uh, old-time music now, like late 50s and stuff. Late 50s and onward kind of music, and some stuff past that, before that as well. Um, but I remember my father didn't want me watching him play that game because it was too violent, which was un very understandable. And then all of a sudden, my father, I asked my father one day if I could play Fallout 3, and he said yes. And that was the best experience that I have had in my life. That was a changing point. That's when I actually thought that I want to be an, act an absolute gamer. Um, playing that game, being a part of the Fallout fandom for a very short amount of time, not in any communities, but looking at all the videos, watching YouTube videos about it constantly over and over and over again, uh, on, um, on, like, co content, like, stuff like that, uh, unaccessible gear, uh, reviews and stuff like that, that was very enjoying, that was very enjoyable, um, and then there was Fallout New Vegas. Fallout New Vegas, uh, I didn't really appreciate until pretty recently, actually, when I realized that there's so much more potential that it has than Fallout 3. Granted, Fallout 3 is an amazing game, but I really love Fallout New Vegas. Um, and I played a lot of it. Um, I never really beat, I haven't, I haven't, really beaten the story a lot at that time I wasn't really that far into it uh my main goal was to get the NCR Ranger armor because it was such a badass looking set uh set of armor um and then my father was extremely excited to hear that they have announced that they announced Fallout 4 and I remember my father pre-ordered it so that means and he when he pre-ordered it, he was able to get all DLCs. He got the season pass and everything. And I was playing a little bit of it when I got home for the first time. And my father came in when he back from work when he had a job before COVID. And he was absolutely upset at me because it was too violent for me. <laughs> and then I begged him. And he eventually said, I'll tell you what. I'll let you play Fallout 4 once you beat all the DLCs and the base game of Fallout 3. And that was my goal, was to finish it as fast as possible. The last DLC that I beat was Point Lookout. Um, and that was, that I kind of rushed, I because I never really experienced the whole thing of Fallout, of Point Lookout. But I, I enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, and then there was uh, Fallout New Vegas. I beat all the other game, all the DLCs until uh, Dead Money, where I couldn't do Dead Money. It was too scary for me at that time. And then pretty recently, around like 2019, 2018, I believe, uh, I, m up, I like managed to up the courage to gather the courage to actually complete that um to complete that dlc which was fun very fun to say the least it challenged me um and then when fallout 4 came out i had a blast uh it was amazing and then i got and then later on i was introduced into mods and that was my passion i loved mods especially like minecraft the first mod i ever got for minecraft was the crafting dead because that was, that was a fun mod.
but um I absolutely loved uh I loved mods and I loved Fallout 4. I beat Fallout 4 at least twice, I believe, only. Uh Fallout 3 I've beaten three times, I think. No, two or three times or once, probably two or three. And Fallout New Vegas I've beaten at around three or two times um total. Uh and then when they announced Fallout 76, I was very surprised because I was like, Fallout 76, they skipped so many numbers. Uh, and then they announced that it was uh, a fully uh, a fully multiplayer experience. And I'll admit the very la the launch day was very buggy and people hated it. But now that they added the pit back from Fallout 3, they added Pittsburgh very recently. Um in back in late or early September uh I haven't actually played any of it cuz it's on the Xbox and I don't play the Xbox much because it's in the living room and I like to have my privacy I like to be cornered um but I really loved the Fallout series a lot and I still do to this very day uh I recently started watching people react to the announcement trailer of Fallout 4 and watching and listening and watching the trailer made me tear up uh, because I just, I love this franchise so much. Um, and I have to be honest with you, I don't think I would be here today as a gamer or as a streamer if Fallout, if the Fallout series wasn't in my life. I mean, granted, I could, I would have possibly came here in due time, but I don't think I would have been here as fast as now. If Fallout wasn't in my life. Um, Destiny played a big role. But Fallout was like. Really there. For me. Um, I loved the aesthetic. Of post apocalyptic futuristic world. Not too futuristic. But enough for it to feel like. That it was that it was possible. To happen in the real world. Um, I, ha I played pretend. As a kid. I still kind of do now. Um, with toys and stuff like that, with my Nerf guns and stuff, um, and I love doing that, um, but, and then I took a very long break from Fallout, a very long break, until very recently, when, uh, on, when, on Steam, Fallout 3, New Vegas, and 4 were all on sale. And not just normal Fallout 4, but like the season pass. Same thing with with New Vegas and Fallout 3. They were all on sale. And a dramatic sale at that. A really good deal. Um, and I begged my father and then I got it. And I was... And then I just went straight to modding. Granted, the modding was a lot harder to do in the beginning... But when I figured it out, I absolutely enjoyed it, um, and I still enjoy it. However, now I will be doing all three games without any mods, or little to none. Um, and that kind of scares me a little bit, because I don't know how I'm going to perform. I'm probably going to die a couple times, probably a lot. Um, but I am excited nonetheless to share with you guys my thoughts and stuff and maybe I can unlock some memories in this old noggin of mine if we come across something in fall in Washington DC or Nevada or Boston um I never really I watched another thing sorry uh another part of my childhood childhood uh more of like my teenage years uh since I kind of still am a teenager but I'm 18 so but was a very very popular youtuber that i really need to get back to watching which is going to be difficult because i'm missing out a lot of videos from him it's a funny man a funny man who loves scotch and smoke rings oxhorn absolutely loved him and i still do i love the way he plays i love his jokes i love how he makes his videos about fallout the last time I watched him was Fallout 2, was when he did his series on Fallout 2. Um, and the most recent, in the video that I have to continue watching 
to continue to that I have to watch in order to continue up the ladder is near the very first launch date is near near the the launch date or launch day of Fallout 76. That is far. That's a long time ago. But nonetheless, I am willing to watch it. Granted, I have a lot of videos I need to watch like I have to like I want to binge watch uh Game Grumps. I want to binge watch um, Oxhorn, Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, Ape at Ryan. I haven't watched his videos in a while. I'm getting off track. But I just want to say I am super excited to start the fall this Fallout series. This is going to be one of the biggest projects of my YouTube careers right now at the moment. I won't be making any money out of it. I won't be making any views. I'm probably going to get copyrighted a lot of times. Some of them, I'm a, I'm afraid I'm going to get copyright strike by by all by the music in there. So I might find a a, a mod that'll disable the radios in the in the wasteland. Um, but I am actually I am very excited. I cannot wait. Um, again, uh, as it says in the next playthrough announcement, that the new gameplay will be live at an unknown date. That is still true i do not know when i'm going to be upload uh, uploading my first live stream i don't know um when it's going to be i don't know how long the live stream is going to be uh all i know is that it is going to be a lot of work and a lot of fighting with my father over the computer for some time on it so i can record or no so i can live stream um and there will be a lot of breaks Sometimes the on sometimes the on break thing will be it will be extended to like almost half an hour or so, um, which I hope is okay with you guys. But what do I know? Um, I've enjoyed the Fallout franchise for so long, and I still do. I wish there were some better mods for Fallout Three. But then again, Fallout 3 it doesn't have that much potential as Fallout New Vegas did with the weapon mods and the open and the factions and stuff like that. Um, in Fallout 4, there's a lot of not safe for work mods out there. A whole lot. Um, but uh, I digress. Honestly, I, um, I'm still happy that uh, Fallout 4 is the most advanced in modding. Uh, when it comes to the Fallout series so far. Um, and I know that it's only up going to be uphill from here when it comes to video games. Since it's just going to get more advanced over and more and more and more advanced. Um, uh, a couple of uh, things I'm going to be doing. Yes, I am going to be doing console commands if I have to. Like, no clip if I get stuck. Um, I will be using controller. So just saying that um if i take long breaks from the series it doesn't mean i'm not coming back to it i most certainly am going to um and if i don't then i'll make up for it uh another thing is that again the reason why it's taking such a long time for me to be able to live stream this stuff is because i want a long period of time off of school so that I can focus on the stream so I can get as much content out and then if I do have a long break it that that much content will be enough to satisfy uh, my subscribers for or viewers or any future viewers for at least a while um, I'm very excited uh, I really want to keep talking about this because I just I can't wait for this. I have said constantly in my live streams that I'm going to be doing Fallout Three, I'm going to be doing the entire Fallout series. Um, I just wanted to set it in stone that I will be doing it, so that's why I went ahead and I posted the video. Um, and I, now let's talk about how I'm going to be doing the series. So I'm going to be doing the base base game. Okay, we're doing base game, then I'm going to be doing uh, the Broken Steel DLC, because that happens right after base game, so that's 
and then we're going to be doing the other DLCs. And then we're going to be doing extended stuff, which means probably some, like, like um, I don't know, like some uh, lore. Some lore stuff. Some simple lore stuff. Nothing too much. Uh, nothing too in-depth. Um, and then if it's possible, I'll be doing some mod stuff. But then again, that's kind of up for debate right now. Um, for Fallout New Vegas, we're going to be doing New Vegas. Base game. We're going to be doing the DLCs. Uh, then we're going to be doing um, then extended stuff, so lore, and then maybe some and then some mod stuff because I have some mods recorded and ready to go. I might re I might live stream uh, Fallout Front the Frontier. Maybe I'll stream Fallout New California because I ha only played a little bit of the beginning of New California, and then it got a little bit too much for me and it crashed a couple of times. So that's where I stopped. But who knows? Maybe I'll start that up again. Um, and then for Fallout 4, we'll be doing, uh, base game, DLCs, extended stuff, and then we'll also be doing the, um, we'll also, we might be doing some mods as well. So, um, that's basically all there is to it, uh, and that's basically all that I have to say. So, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys can't wait for the, I hope you guys are excited for the Fallout 3 playthrough as much as I am. Um, and I will see you all in the next video. See ya.